बिट वाइज ऑपरेटर्स बिट वाइज ऑपरेटर्स विथिन ब्राकेट अंड आर ओके लाइक and r xr that symbol is called xr exclusive r and r xr xr operator right now here legend legend is at this point well sir and operator this one is nothing but what and 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 operator can you tell when and operator returns are true ha huh? if for both arguments are both arguments are true so returns if returns are true if both arguments are true are getting returns are true if and only if ah uh, both arguments are ah uh, both arguments are true like both arguments are true okay this same sir this one is nothing but r symbol r r r symbol can you tell when R operator returns are true. Ah, uh, if at least one argument is true, R R symbol. Either this or this. If at least one symbol is true, at least one argument is true, then returns are true. Returns are true if and only if at least one argument, at least one argument is true. At least one argument is true. Next, uh, what is this one? Cap symbol. What is this one? Uh? X R, are you getting X R symbol? Exclusive R, X R means exclusive R. Can you tell when exclusive R returns are true? Yeah. When when it returns are true? You know, yeah. And R X R, exclusive R. Normal R means either this, R this, R both. Is that nothing but like? But exclusive R means So, first one but not second, or second one but not first. So it means either first one or second one but not both. Either first one or second one but not both. You know. So somewhere uh, I have in one book I saw. I have one animal is there. I have one animal. This animal can be dog or can be cat. Can be dog or can be cat. But not both simultaneously. Is there any chance of animal, cat, and dog simultaneously? No. So, but not exclusive R. But not both. Either this or this. But not both. If the first one is true, second argument should be false. If the first argument is false, second argument should be true. If both arguments are different, then this one returns true. If both arguments are same, same, then this one returns false. Correct or not? So. Here returns are true if and only if both the arguments are uh, if and only both arguments are different. Different. If both arguments are different, true, false, false, true is an atomic x r returns are true. Is it clear for all of you? Right? Now just observe. Observe this at this example well. You are seeing system dot out dot print ela s o p a true. True and false. True and false. S O P of true or false. S O P of true or false. S O P of true X R false. True X R false like true and false. What is the answer? True and false. What is the answer? False is the answer. True or false. What is the answer? True is the answer. True X R false. What is the answer? Sir, both are same or both are different? Both are different. If both are different, then the answer is nothing but true by default. I hope you people can aware when and operator returns true, R operator returns true, X R operator returns true. You should have clear clarity. That okay, take this part. Just uh, sometimes in the exam, maybe very rare to ask this type of questions in the entire room. But in the exam, maybe a chance for a CJP or OCJP. There may be a chance. Yes, sir. Completed, right? Okay. Now there may be a possibility to ask. Maybe, maybe a possibility to ask the question. 
something like we are saying sop of 4 and 5 sop of 4 and 5 sop of 4 or 5 sop of 4x or 5 can you tell what is the answer yeah ayyo think a bit carefully and then tell the answer true ayyo first is it valid or invalid ah that's what you have to identify valid or invalid ha yeah? valid how many people are feeling invalid invalid compared to matter now okay ah valid don't keep any doubt valid then what the answer in the first case true ha ah, what the what the answer in the first one true or false first one false ah uh, true second one true last one false okay so here make sure the people who attended already the people who are bringing xerox copies better to close so that remaining people can think can think if they they can think then they can remember the point well that's all especially so the people who are bringing xerox can you please close and open fresh uh, white notebook so that you will get some clarity in your mind okay just the referring xerox there is no use make sure okay don't uh, tell the answers i know in front of you answers may be there okay not good now can you tell sop of 4 and 5 4 or 5 4 x or 5 is it valid or not ha yeah. valid in the first case what the answer true or false ha yeah. true or false true second one second one false true true correct last one false make sure for a fact like these are valid don't keep any doubt but the answer is first one four is the answer second one five is the answer last one one is the answer are you getting four five one is the answers what we are going to get we are we are not going to get a true or false like okay this way. if we apply for boolean time then the result is boolean if we apply for number types then the result is number okay we can apply these operators for integral types also is it nothing but integral type byte short byte short int long only for we can apply these operators for integral types also okay this way. if we apply for integral types what is the answer here see 4 and 5 here yeah, observe 4 1 0 0 1 these operators are what bitwise correct or not bitwise operators right now 4 means what 1 0 5 means what 1 0 1 1 0 apply bitwise the word bitwise 0 and 1 what are the answer 0 0 and 0 0 1 and 1 1 that's why 1 0 0 is nothing but 4 next here 5 1 0 0 1 0 1 4 or 5 1 0 0 1 0 1 apply r operator 0 r 1 1 0 r 0 0 1 r 1 1 is nothing but like getting next so 1 0 1 is nothing but 5 next up 4 x r 5 are you getting 4 means what 1 0 0 5 means what 1 0 1 are getting 1 0 1 0 r 1 what the answer uh, x r x r if both arguments are different then only result is true or then if both are different 1 both are same 0 both are same 0 then what the answer 1 i hope you can aware clearly 4 5 1 itself is nothing but the answer okay now the next point make sure so keep keep subbing bitwise complement operator bitwise bitwise complement operator bitwise complement operator okay tilde symbol within bracket just bitwise complement operator tilde tilde symbol right now listen 
system dot out dot print lm sop of negation of true negation of true what is the answer Arey. why you are thinking this much what is the answer negation of true what is the answer false yes it is a big false statement compile time error we are going to get ok compile time error compile time error right because this operator applicable only for integral types but not for boolean type are you getting this operator applicable bitwise complement operator applicable only for boolean or only for integral but not for boolean so what compile time error operator tilde ok cannot be uh, cannot be applied to cannot be applied to boolean is nothing but like compile time error we are getting operator till cannot be applied to boolean type is nothing but compile time error right now so here if i can take system dot out dot print lm negation of four i'm taking negation of four four i'm taking can you tell is it valid or not valid for integral types you can apply forget about result what is the result we will analyze next one SOP of negation of 4 SOP of negation of 4 can you tell what the answer huh? Are you? SOP of negation of 4 what the answer we will get huh? yes SOP of negation of 4 and what the answer 3 because you know 1 4 means what 1 0 0 4 means 1 0 0 sir negation bitwise complement right now 0 will become what 1 0 will become what 1 and 1 will become 0 now what is the answer by default you are going to get 3 most of the people are going to feel like this but the answer is minus 5 okay this is the answer we are going to get uh, not uh, not uh, three because sir one zero zero will become zero one one zero one one means uh, three like some people are going to fail no the answer is what uh, minus five let me show first because you may not believe sir is telling some wrong thing like okay <coughs> here negation of true i am taking negation of true true okay here have you observed the code won't compile because you know this operator applied only for integral types but not for boolean that's why operator till cannot be applied to boolean clear negation of 4 i'm taking if i can take negation of 4 what will happen Anna? negation of 4 i'm taking what will happen immediately you know negation of 4 minus 5 itself is the answer yes valid but minus 5 itself is the answer is it clear right okay this is minus 5 itself is the answer okay so make make sure you people aware so how it is minus 5 you should have clear clarity do you want me to explain or simply you can remember <laughs> yeah. Yeah. do you want me to explain internally how this of my negation of 4 will become minus 5 do you want me to explain internal yes, yes. make sure you should have clear clarity right sir here 4 4 4 is by default what type 4 by default what type inter type every every integral number is by default inter type int means how many bytes 4 bytes 4 bytes means how many bits 32 bits 32 bit sir for 32 bit complement you have to perform not for 3 bits complement are you getting first how we can represent 4 in the memory like here just observe 4 i want to represent in the memory how we can represent in the memory 4 sir is it a positive number or negative number positive the most significant bit is a sign bit sign if it is the positive number it is a 0 if it is the negative number it is 1 so 0 reserved for sign then the remaining 31 bits represent a value what is the 4? How you can represent in 31 bits a style? 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 is nothing but like. Are you getting? 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0 is nothing but like. So, 
here make make sure sir you you should you should have clear clarity sir for the most significant bit is the sign bit this one is nothing but what sign sign bit sign bit and the remaining bits are represent value directly right this is the value now you have to perform okay complement for 32 bits not for just only 3 bits now listen this one so negation of 4 i am taking negation of 4 now can you tell what will happen anna 1 1 1 1 dot 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 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 1 and so on now most significant bit is what 1 1 means what anna negative number negative because 1 means negative if it is a negative number the remaining bits represent value in two's complement form observe a bit carefully these words are very important sir positive number the value will be represented directly but negative number the value will be represented in two's complement form now what is the two's complement form of this one what the two's, two's complement form of this one you have first to find one's complement sir we have to find two's complement uh, first find one's complement zero 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 one zero zero are you getting so this zero will become one 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 will become zero now add one because two's complement right first one's complement plus one two's complement zero plus one one zero one zero 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 and so on like can you tell what is the value of one zero one uh, five five and it's already negative so the output will become what uh, minus five is it clear for all of you right so don't think uh, we have to apply only for three bits uh, no we have to apply for what uh, 32 bits uh, 32 bits we have to apply so this is the, what is the value of negation of four is nothing but minus five okay take this example so this one is bitwise complement operator is it clear for all of you right okay this uh, but now there is one small twist and uh, here let me let me explain about about this one sir here whenever we are applying bitwise complement whenever we are applying bitwise complement suddenly you bring 32 bits but you explain and operator r operator xr operator only for three bits so have you, have you remember four and five four and five four r five four x r five so are you applied only for three bits that's why we thought that in this case also 3 bits only actually even in this case also 32 bits only we require to take but whether we are taking 32 bits or 3 bits there is no difference in the result in this case simple let me go for 4 and 5 4 means what and 32 bits only 4 means what 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 5 means what 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 apply and operator 0 and 1 0 0 and 0 0 next up 1 and 1 1 1 and then what what about remaining 0 and 0 0 0 and 0 0 whether we are considering or not considering remaining bits there is no change in the value correct or not because all are zeros all are zeros whether we consider or not consider there is no change in the value that's why all these things are, are nothing but zero 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 but here one zero zero are you getting so that's why you will need not the end even r operator also even xr operator also zero r zero what is the result zero zero xr zero what is the result zero only that's why whether we are considering or not considering there is no change in the result but strictly speaking compulsory we should go for what 32 bits not for 3 bits clear for all of it okay this is so this is what bitwise complement operator right